Oh, cool. But, um, it's going to be pretty interesting with that. But here's my feelings on it. I don't know whether to be excited or not about it because I'm worried it's going to be a case of if it wasn't called Golden Eye, no one would care, kind of thing. Like, well, it's only there for nostalgia. Uh, well, that's right there. In, let, let me, let me tell uh, uh, let me, let me tell you a little thing about nostalgia. <laughs> all video games are, all the biggest video games are based on nostalgia. You can pretty much. I know, but the thing is, though, you can pretty much say. Is, I'm worried that they could make. Me... You can pretty much say every single right? FPS is based on nostalgia. <laughs> I know, dude, but the thing is, I'm worried that they're gonna make a mediocre FPS, slap Goldeneye on it, and people are gonna be like, "Yeah, it's Goldeneye." Uh, that's what I'm scared about. And I love Goldeneye. I love the game so much, but don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole nostalgia part, that though, that can they really, can they really win with that? I mean, uh, if they just put the same game, update graphics, then they would just been, oh, nostalgia, like, made the game good then, but it's not good now. And <laughs> if they updated it, which they are now, you get people like me, who are always complaining. <laughs> but people, so I'm probably still going to buy it. I think, but, I think, most I, people are saying, I think the sheer nostalgia of it will work, because just of, how many games work on nostalgia, which is pretty much a, a very high percentage of games that work on nostalgia, especially most of the Mario games that work on nostalgia. Uh, I'm saying this work too many times. <laughs> but it uh, nostalgia does does work, but don't spam it like Halo does. <laughs> but uh, just don't. Halo's a nostalgia. It's milking. Well, it's but uh, I mean everything started out with. Uh, Halo One, then all this it was working off that nostalgia over and over again. So, <laughs> I mean, hey, nostalgia is what a yearning of the past. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. that's that's how it works. <laughs> well, what, you, what were you gonna say? Hello. Oh, was it me? Sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> no, I just um. Either way, you know, it'd be. I think it'll be a pretty good game as long as it's better than uh, Goldman Rogue Agent. Then. Oh my uh, god. No points. Don't, don't even mind. talk about that. Get that to the game didn't exist. That, don't, that doesn't even deserve to be called gold, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrendous. Uh, sorry. Anyways, let's, mo horrible. let's move. Let's move on. We kind of talked about Golden Eye because uh, we all love that game, I oh. guess. But uh, <laughs> so, so wait, wait, can I say? Can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? Before one more thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, what I was gonna say is the old classic controller versus Blue Remote. I think I'll be interested to see how that pans out because it might be a little bit unfair. I mean, you've got Blue Remote, which is basically you know just point and shoot, like boom, like just headshot whenever you want a headshot while you know cast control is going to be well yeah. i don't know it's like it's like mouse versus uh analog well it's, yeah, yeah but some people are just are really good at dual analog you, you'll be surprised <laughs> it's true. I, I, I suppose. It's true. but like some of the i mean if you look at because i've had this argument a couple of times with like dual analog versus i mean have you seen some of the videos on youtube with uh Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare Reflex. Like you've got a whole no-scope um, montages where people are literally just like shooting with sniper rifles for about I don't know 30 yards away, and they're not even putting a scope up. They're just, just getting headshots straight away because they're that accurate. It's one of those things that it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's move on to with uh, Nintendo surprises. Uh, Retro Studios comes out of nowhere. They want oh. they want to do some they want to do something new. I start hitting the music. I almost fell out my chair. <laughs> oh um, my god! Because so I first of all I love Donkey Kong's music. It's amazing music. It just gets you once you makes you want to get up and dance. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Returns by uh, by Retro Studios. Big surprise! I did not see that one coming, <laughs> and it's and it's, it's gonna have the original game, the original gameplay from from the other Donkey Kong Country games. Amazing! Just once again, once once again, Chrome nostalgia. <laughs> it was. <laughs> hey, well, that's how it is. Sometimes, I mean, these franchises they start off nostalgia, but I mean, how else are they just gonna keep? I mean, you can say, okay, nostalgia's gone. Let's change it. Why would you change it when it's being one? It's being successful. And two, that's what the people want. <laughs> change it. Yeah, but I, I'm really happy about that because I love Donkey Kong Country. Anyone who knows me knows I rave on about the first one because 
It was one of the best games ever back in Super Nintendo. Still is, I don't care what you say. <laughs> the graphics are... The music is awesome. Aqua, I like, ambience, is the, you know, the water level music. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not ashamed to say it. it makes me cry sometimes. Because <laughs> it's so awesome. It is one of the most powerful songs I've heard in my life. <laughs> and the fact that Metro Studios, who made awesome Prime games, are getting this, and they're going to put it on the Wii, and add gameplay mechanics, and the graphics is awesome. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm sold. Yeah. Uh, Retro I, I would like to get married to you. If that will fucking <laughs> every single one. As far as I'm concerned. To be honest, though, with the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, go No, I was just saying, with the... Uh... Yeah, I... You know, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, okay, this is, this is great. I actually like this a lot. But, um... I did, at the same time, think about what Retro Studios working on. Because, obviously, they've been working on the Prime Trilogy for so long. I kind of thought it'd be something in the same vein as that. I mean, it wasn't, and don't get me wrong, I was pleasantly surprised, but, you know, part of me just wanted Eternal Darkness 2. God, how I want that game. <laughs> so that, oh, yeah. Darkness, mm. That's games I've ever played in my life. <laughs> I should have been stupid as well than make no, what's the freaking, no, um, what's the, no human or whatever that? I don't know what it made. Oh, too human. Too human, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> game. Working on for eleven years. <laughs> yeah, that's crap. <laughs> but thank you, Retro. St- yeah. Thank you, Retro Studios, for 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 reinventing Metro Prime and then reinventing Metroid and then reinventing. As far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, Retro Studios is a new grayer. <laughs> so yes, yeah, yeah, I, I will agree, agree strongly. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's move on. I, I don't know. I'm I may be missing something, but I guess we can just go ahead and go on to the 3DS. <laughs> Just like, just like a blackbuster critic said, they lit it up like Jesus. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> they lit it up, they, like they lit it up like Jesus. That thing rose up out of the ground. I was like, oh, oh god, oh god, there it is. <laughs> Can I just say this one thing? Um, originally, I thought this is gonna be crap. It's just gonna have a cheap 3D effect. Yeah. At the end of it, I was sold. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, it's it is the the 3D effect and the fact that you can you can take the 3D effect off if you if you don't like it, which is awesome. yeah, and the fact that it doesn't need any glasses, which is awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, what was you gonna say, I, Crown? Oh, I just I just thought it was um, because obviously we can see the 3D effect, so we had to look for the hands-on impressions. Apparently, every single person took my goggles once. Yeah, but like. Um, I was like, oh cool, like three days, and then good. And then I saw the line of the games, and I was like, mother of God, just tell me how much of my money you want. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it was <laughs> the the, the, uh, the level of the, the level of anticipation for games. All these top developers from from top franchises like Metal Gear Solid. What else? There were Star Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive, Metal Gear Solid, yeah, um, Dead or Alive, Fighter. Resident Evil. Ninja yeah. Gaiden. They're gonna put Street um, Fighter Four on it. Yeah, Super Street Fighter Four. Super Street Fighter Four. Yeah, I mean the, the the anticipation for games of this thing is is through the roof. And everybody said Sony Move had a whole bunch of third party support. The 3DS has, I can't I can't count how much support. They're all launch titles as well. Yeah, I know, I know. But then, but then they, they they show the 3DS. Dude. I'm sorry. Line that was an Ocarina of Time. How can we not mention that? Oh, oh God, Ocarina of Time in 3D. Give me, give me, give me right now. And line that was as well, going through freaking like, oh my God, <laughs> going through Sector Z, blasting away on your freaking I mean, R wing. Uh, I really thought that there, there really wouldn't be a, a <laughs> handheld just as successful as the 3D of of the DS. I was wrong. <laughs> but I would. I really, I really think the 3DS will be like three times more, more, uh, more successful than the DS than its predecessor. How do they fit so much technology in there? It's I, just got it's graphical power, just as good as the of the, of the GameCube or an original Xbox. They got 3D as well as a gyro sensor, a motion sensor, as well as a touchscreen ability that the old DS had, a 3D camera, the ability to watch 3D movies. Kid Icarus or a Kid uh, yeah, after they were done announcing all this technology that that uh, that uh, Ishamuchiya was going through, <laughs> they uh, they they just splat 